I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say. I'm going to kill you, father. Certainly a startling opening line. I was raped by a priest when I was seven years old. Why don't you make a formal complaint? What good would it do if the man's dead? Things you hear in confessions these days. The mess people make of their lives. You're a very nice looking young woman. This is my daughter Fiona. But you're a priest. I was married before I became a priest. You can do that, can you? It would appear so. There's no point in killing a bad priest, but killing a good one. That'd be a shock. Could have a word. I hope we don't get locked in here. We'll have to make love to keep warm. <laughs> we have to ask ourselves, what does this man want? He wants to be loved. He wants to be admired. What do you see when you look at me? You see a sophisticated, eminent man in the prime of his life. He wants to be feared. Is this a police matter? No, it's a personal thing. What did you say you wanted a firefighter? I didn't say. Your church is on fire. It takes a lot of nerve to burn down a church. Unless there's a personal angle, nobody will have a grudge against your father, no? I'm going to kill you because you're innocent. Not right now, though. I'll give you enough time to put your house in order. The time is gone, you don't even realize it. My time will never be gone. Father, yeah. Well, the future he know. Do you need help? I have had murderous feelings, I have to admit. Referring to the commandment, thou shalt not kill. What about self-defense? It's a tricky one, all right. Run along now, Father. Your sermon is finished. He needs taken down a pig or two. That's what he needs. Take me down, then. Venom wasted.